Today, let's talk about viruses in the garden. It's good if you can identify them in your plants. There's no cure, unfortunately, so the cure is actually to remove the plant. But you need to know what your plant should look like and what viruses can do to a plant. So this is pokeweed, which is a native plant. Um, it grows wild in my garden, and it's supposed to have plain dark green leaves. But as you can see, there's some yellowing, there's some mottling, and the leaves are not dark green like they should be. So this has a virus. Viruses are transmitted in several ways. One is through insects, and that's probably the main vector. Um, an insect feeds on a plant that has a virus, then goes go and feeds on another plant, and spreads the virus that way. Viruses can also be spread by tools, by sap or a wounded plant. So if you're dividing plants and you are dividing one that has a virus and you go to a plant that doesn't, you can spread it that way. And also they can be spread um, also by just being on your hands or your gloves. Some viruses, a few can be also spread by seed. So you have to be aware of that. Um, we can't always identify which virus it is. Some have very distinctive leaf patterns, but just to know that it's a virus and that you need to get the plant out of your garden. Now, other thing that happens is viruses will also affect the flowers. So I have some wild dames rockets in my garden. Dames rockets, well, they're kind of at the end of their season here. They're pink, white, purple, um, they are not green. So this plant is infected with a virus. Sometimes the flowers will also be um, split in colors. They might be streaked. And here's one that's completely green and not that greenish white. And sometimes the leaves are also affected. I don't see that it is on this one. So what I'm gonna do is rogue these out pull them, put them in the garbage. You don't want to compost any plant that you think has a virus. It's um, a really hot compost may take care of some of them, but not all of them. So it's just better to put it in the garbage. And then when you are using your tools, make sure you've cleaned them, disinfected them, wash your hands, wash your gloves, and um, keep viruses out of your garden. The best way is to prevent it. They can mainly, again, be spread by aphids and thrips. So those are some of the things about viruses in the garden.